Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for January 31st through February 6th. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Libra, let's see what's going on for you for the week ahead. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy Libra placements, male or female general collective reading. So please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers, you are welcome. Could actually be a reading or messages in here for you. All right, Libra. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know is down below in the description box. Your playlists are down there. February readings have started to go out. I just did a new moon in Aquarius. You can check that out as well. If you're new here, I do eight readings a month to a week. I do a weekly reading like this one, which is a sneak peek for the week ahead, so it's shorter. I do longer readings. I do two monthlies, a new moon and a full moon, and I'll be doing a full moon in Leo in uh, a few weeks here so you can keep an eye out for that and end of february i'll be doing as well after this all right libra let's see what we have for you we have make a decision feeling stuck or indecisive listen to your intuition and make a decision so you need to make a decision about something follow your dreams so making a decision about following your dreams and you are gifted you are very intelligent and talented. So whatever you have a gift for, it's time to follow your dreams regarding that. And it's time to make a decision. So let's see what is going on for you, Libra. Now, <clears throat> gifted can be many things. It could be spiritual. It could be being an artist. It could be whatever you are talented in. All right. What do we have for Libra for the week ahead? What do we have for Libra for the week ahead? What does Libra, okay, right here. Strength, so you are very strong, courageous, and brave. And the gifts you have, talents are very, very strong, strongly gifted, and it could be uh, from past lives as well. So you could have these gifts through many lifetimes. The Empress, wow, so it's time to start that business. Do this as a full-time project as well. Taking control of your life, birthing new things in your life. Some of you may work with crafts. That could be it as well. Temperance. Wow. Major. This is major. We got three majors for you already. Nine of Cups. Happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. Ace of Wands. Exciting new adventure. Endeavor. Passion projects. The fool there's that leap of faith new start aquarius energy here we are in aquarius season i just did that new moon in aquarius and let's see what was your uh reading about here just looking at my notes oh it's about your manifestations coming into alignment all right so if you want to check that out and the king of swords so that could be you libra for me it's gemini but male or female doesn't matter that very well could be you. And let's see what's on the bottom. Two of Wands. So make a decision at that crossroads. King of Wands and the Hermit. So, I mean, the King of Wands, this could be someone you're dealing with. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but the King of Wands can be an entrepreneur, a business owner. The King of Wands gets up, makes it happen. You know, they start out as the Page of Wands with the creative idea, um, inspiration, and then they take action with that Knight of Wands. And once they make it happen, then they sit there as the King of Wands. So, you know, the King of Wands is someone who is very accomplished, who has set their dreams in motion and made them happen. Usually, they're a go-getter, get it done. Very ambitious, uh, fiery, passionate go-getter. Hermit here. So thinking about this King. So you can have a lot of fire in your chart. So you're either thinking about a fire sign, maybe you're in separation here, um, needing to make a decision, but also making a decision about uh, getting in your fire energy, if you have any fire in your chart, it doesn't matter, um, and being that entrepreneur, that business owner, uh, whatever that is for you. So definitely here, it's time to make a decision and follow your passion as well. So let's see what else is on the bottom of the deck here. Two of Pentacles. Definitely weighing the pros and cons, indecision, 
You could be juggling around your finances a little bit right now. Maybe you're not, you don't really have the financial uh, backing to do it or the finances to do it. Page of Cups, Nine of Swords. So, I mean, the Page of Cups is, again, being very, it's very intuitive energy. It's very healing, uh, very imaginative energy. So a little stress about what you're imagining here. Now we have the Queen of Wands, so we definitely have a couple. Could be a business couple as well. So we have Aries here. Queen of Swords. So that is you, Libra. So now we have the King, Queen of Swords. The King and Queen of Wands. Oh my goodness. Now we have the King of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Indecision, Six of Wands, Success, and Victory. It could be that... Um, taking action three wants just waiting to take action but it's what's needed here so let's see for the signs i see pisces um aries libra that is you with the queen of swords king of pentacles could be virgo and again this could be maybe a financial advisor with this uh, king of pentacles it could be someone um that works in finances that could give you advice and guidance maybe you're connected to someone that works in finances or maybe somebody that owns a business similar to yours which can give you advice and guidance as well but i do see here um libra i mean temperance does try to bring in soulmates so i mean we do have divine alchemy here divine timing patience balance peace harmony healing and we do have wish fulfillment in here, happiness and joy. So I feel like there can be wish fulfillment on your dreams, but it's about making a decision to follow that, to take a leap of faith here with the fool on this fiery, passionate creativity, a new beginning as well. Empress, again, birthing new things in your life. So I think there is a strong connection here as well, because we did see... Do we have the Emperor? No, but we have the King, Queen of Swords and the King, Queen of Wands. So I feel like here, um, Libra, you could be trying to, doing, trying to do things alone. I mean, we do have the Hermit here. So that could be about, you know, kind of being in seclusion, being alone, trying to figure this all out on your own, trying to find the way, the path, the light. And I feel like, because I'm seeing this King of Wands as someone as who's already found the path, the way, and the light. And this hermit is like behind them, kind of like watching and trying to learn by watching, but not really, because they don't even see each other, but not really reaching out for help or assistance, but trying to learn by like maybe watching or something like that. So not really interacting, if that makes any sense. When maybe what you really need to do is like reach out because I kind of see the Empress here reaching up, reaching out, taking that leap of faith. And the King of Swords can be, you know, a mentor, uh, someone of expertise, advice, guidance as well. And again, that could be you, but I mean, we see two ma uh, matching couples twice. Temperance is definitely, I feel like, trying to bring wish fulfillment and soulmates together as well. Um... So you could be contemplating starting something new, but maybe you don't really have the finances or you're trying to weigh the pros and cons, you know, trying to figure out what can I spend money on? What can I spend money on? You know, what can I do? What do I have the financial backing for? Maybe that King of Pentacles could be maybe getting a loan or something like that. That could be something you're afraid to do. But I think the universe is like, trust yourself. You are strong, courageous, brave. You do have strength to do this because strength can be about holding back as well. So I think the universe, like you've been holding back, it's time to birth new. Temperance here is backing you, you know, divine alchemy, trying to bring it together for you, as well as a soulmate of wish fulfillment here. Exciting new energy, but it's going to require that leap of faith here to have the mental clarity to just do it. Advice and guidance too, if you need that, expertise professional expertise or advice guidance as well because i feel like maybe some are holding back from doing that maybe out of fear or embarrassment or maybe if you feel like you've made some wrong decisions whatever you're trying to create here and you're embarrassed to say well i did this or that and it wasn't the right thing you can't you can't be in that energy you just have to do it here whatever that is for you hmm 
So this Ace of Wands, and, and you know, the Page of Cups here can be about, you know, someone wanting to court you, date you, romantic, you know, proposal as well. So that could really stress you out. Maybe you may have a romantic proposal that may make you a little bit nervous here as well. But there could be a lot of attraction between you and this person. We do have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. You could have fear of getting your heart broken because I did see the Three of Swords. So decision, again, Two of Swords. But we do have success and victory here. That could be an offer as well. Wow. So if you really want your dreams to come true, I think, because you know you are gifted that you are very talented. You have what it takes to be successful. But you have to make better decisions or make a decision to go about things a different way so let's see we have uh, leo virgo sagittarius libra taurus leo again aquarius we are in that aquarius season right now gemini or this could be you we did see the queen of swords which is libra so we got libra gemini let's see it could be signs and chart maybe some you're dealing with pisces uh let's see aries with the queen of wands Libra, that's you with the Queen of Swords. King of Pentacles can be Virgo. So, Libra, I don't know. I think you need to take a different route here. Make a decision to take a different uh, course of action or something like that. And I think th there may be like a new romantic proposal that may make you a little bit nervous. <laughs> maybe you've been trying to, you know, maybe you've been dreaming about this person and maybe... Um, see we just had have fun here pop out um maybe you've been kind of hoping and wishing and dreaming that this person would have a romantic proposal for you and now that it's come in you're very uh nervous about it as well all right all right and now we got synchronicity popping out so let's get one more oh my goodness right that's way too many Let's get one more for you, Libra, and then I'll read them to you. This is your advice and guidance. And what we got? Oh, we just got love pop out. So, <laughs> all right now. So you got four. Have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly, something totally unlike you, something just for the joy of it? It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun synchronicity you are noticing the signs of synchronicity that spirit that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time okay that was a question all right people in situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence in reality they are being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason so if you're noticing any synchronistic events happening here that could be um, a sign for you as well embrace the moment Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. So we have the rainbow there. Luck, expansion, growth. And we do have love. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy as receiving as you are of giving love and compassion while love can be a beautiful emotion it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life so there is love here so definitely we had two matching couples and um the fool leap of faith exciting new beginning so i feel like here that love offer finally comes in it's telling you to embrace it the uh, synchronistic events are lining up you know accept it have some fun you know it could be dating getting to know so whatever you've been dreaming of, this love proposal could be coming in and it may scare you, but it's telling you to accept this as well. And whatever you're trying to create in your life, um, your dreams, goals, desires in that realm, it's time to um, either make some different choices or decisions or reaching out for help, assistance, guidance to kind of get you in the right direction as well to create this energy because we do have the Empress. All right. And that's your energy because the empress is libra taurus and that is also venus which is the planet of love and we have love right here all right libra so definitely that love offer is coming in so don't you know don't stress it too much all right libra that's what i have for you again check out your february readings watch for the uh, full moon in leo the end of february more weeklies to come 
wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.